What's up? This is Vic from Quick Cuts Premium Lock Care here in Conyers, Georgia. I'm about to bid a HOA property. So um, I'm learning the ropes on this, how to bid it, how to bid it right, making sure that, um, that the bid is something that is not too high, not too low, but just right. So uh, I'm out here with uh, Darius from Quick Cuts and my partner over here, um, Darian Perkins. So right now we're gonna bid the front of the property and um, I'll give you some pictures and uh, hopefully I can come up with the numbers to tell you what I bid it and see whether or not um, that price will work for me. Might not give you all the details of it because I do know that, hey, this is business and can't give you all the formulas of what I'm trying to do. But hopefully you can learn something from it. All right. Stay tuned. So fam, here's my takeaway on bidding on this HOA. One takeaway is that I've never actually um, planted uh, seasonal flowers. So I made sure I hooked up with someone who did, which is Darius from um, Quality Cuts. Also was big on this HOA, it's a pine straw installation. I've done that several times. I'm pretty good in quoting the pine straw. One of the things I know in my area, pine straw is at um, 650 a bale installed. So that's pretty much my go-to price when I'm doing HOA. I do price it more when I'm doing someone resident, but this was over 150 um, bales of pine straw. Also, I give them a price for doing the hedges, like a cleanup. So definitely part of my um, my bid is what it would cost for me to get that um, those um, hedges cleaned up at the beginning of the service. And then from there, I do what is considered lawn maintenance. Pretty much I am at $50 per man hour. And in this case, I probably would have had maybe starting out cleaning this place up uh, six guys. Now, I'm pretty good in um, quoting the pine straw. I like that tree. I think it was like three bales. I also get Darren to use the wheel to walk it because think about it. There for every bale of pine straw, that's 40 square feet. So whatever you get, just divide it by 40 to be safe. Now, I did not win this HOA. The reason why, not because I wasn't the lowest, because I was, I actually was going to save them $500 over the year but had another lawn care guy who actually live in the community so they felt like you know loyalty to him and wanted to give him the work which it's not a bad job actually they did, did a great job keeping the place up um i'm dealing with the same situation in my own hoa i'm just hoping they give it to me but they're dragging their feet i guess they're trying to find someone cheaper but i told them look i live here i'll match the price let me get the work but um with everything's going on things is taking some time so hopefully you understand oh just so you know a lot of times when you got stuff around trees and tennis court put a little roundup around it so you won't have to do a whole bunch of weed eating um, on some of these projects so uh, thanks for listening and should i also say thanks for watching and subscribing so fam um i just got finished um coming up with an estimate or what i think is going to be um the time that it's gonna take me to um, actually do the service every time I come out. This is gonna be a weekly service. Also, it's gonna be a bi-weekly service. Then also, it's gonna be a monthly service. So I am gonna break it down into a fast growth season, a moderate growth season, and then it's a dormant season. So um, that's what we're gonna be doing. This is how we're gonna come up with our price. Now, one of the things I gotta tell you, um, Doing HOAs, I know it's gonna be very competitive and giving this bid, and one of the things that you you can do coming out, like I was trying to do, is like really over dissect what everything is gonna cost. And that's when you start making the margins super large, but you don't wanna make uh, uh, estimates that's too, too low. Cause um, you'll be on the hook for that. And especially if you got a business that have this branding, all on your truck they will talk bad about you I'm pretty sure of it so I want my name to um, to be positive so I'll let you know whether or not I get the um, the actual um, HOA contract and uh, so that's what I'm I'm gonna be working on to see whether or not 
Um, I can go year round. That's the goal. Um, I have a little marketing scheme that I'm using that I hadn't shared with you guys. And um, I don't know if I'm gonna share it because it's, it's really good. I don't know and I know that I, I'm very transparent, but um, when it comes to HOA, man, this market is very competitive here in uh, Metro Atlanta. So I know I had a friend, he came over and um, he actually gave me some ideas. His name is Darius, you've seen him before, of um, Quality Cuts. I wanna give him a shout out. He came out, helped me um, to look over it. One of the things I am gonna do, um, Darius know how to do the weed control over the lawn. So I'm gonna give him that, that part of, um, of the contract. Also, he know how to plant flowers. I'm pretty sure I can do it, but my thing is that I can't cut all this grass by myself. So I am gonna give him that responsibility um, part of the contract. And hopefully um, we can grow our business uh, together eventually one day. This young man, uh, and he's a pretty good dude, pretty good dude. So with that being said, can't share my price right now, or how much I, I charge. Once I get the contract, I might, I might not, because still, like I said, in HOA and you bidding for the commercials, a lot of time it's really about how low can you go? How low can you go? And that's pretty much it. So man, hopefully you enjoy the pictures. Um, tell me what your thoughts are. I know you can't just look at it and um, just eyeball it, but tell me what you would charge for the front entrance. Tell me what you would charge for the pool area. Tell me what you'll charge for the second entrance. Tell me what you'll charge for um, doing the weed eating and um, fertilizer over this um, this area. This would really help me out um, and let me know whether or not I was hot or cold. And uh, hopefully, uh, I'm gonna show you the pictures. All right, cut on line, Kevin Fallon, cut on. I'm cutting out. Peace.